This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. A presidential ribbon cutting at Penn State Hazelton. We'll take a look at a renovated classroom building at High Acres next. Good evening and thank you for joining us at SSP TV News. I'm Ken Cara. For optimum viewing, check out our HD broadcast on Service Electric Cablevision Channel 513 and don't leave home without the Samsung Productions app. We kick things off with headlines from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Students, faculty and the community came out today to celebrate the rededication of the largest classroom building at the Penn State Hazelton campus. University President Eric Barron cut the ribbon on the newly renovated Costas building, which was built in 1970. The structure now features cutting-edge technology and state-of-the-art classrooms. Our Lisa Sugar talked with President Barron, Campus Chancellor Gary Lawler, and Dixie McCoy from the Student Government Association. Well, it's a fantastic day because we really know that when a student walks in that classroom, it's just such a pleasant place to to, to learn, but also all of the things they need to learn are right there and are new and bright. It, it, it's very exciting, but we also know that the faculty, when they walk into that space, feel really good about teaching and how it is that the university values teaching. So this is for the students and the faculty, and when you're doing something for students and faculty, that's always a great day for Penn State. You talked about the role of the community and the campus. So yes. tell me why that's so important to you. Well, so I really look at the campuses at Penn State as being of and, and for the community. And we're here to help make sure that students have access and that it's affordable. So this is an opportunity for a student to live at home perhaps, save money by doing that have a lower tuition rate, and at the same time they have access to what is a top 1% in the world educational institution. So this is a way of having the community participate in, in opportunity, and at the same time to have the university to give back. And the economic development things we're doing are the same thing. Why not get your education here and build your business here? All of those things make Penn State just a part of the community. It's part of our mission. This is a huge step forward. Um, we're just tremendously grateful to the university for the investment in our campus and to have everyone here celebrating the ribbon cutting for this magnificent building with all of its new features, new classrooms, new labs, new student collaboration spaces. We are just tremendously excited and the best, the best times are yet to come. Well, seeing what cost us this building looked like before and the after is just astounding. It's a complete transformation. It's very much more open and welcoming. There's more windows. It's brighter. It just looks like a much more welcoming environment, and therefore it's much less intimidating for students to learn in here, and it's more of a space that you can come and you can talk to your professors and you can sit and study in a group, and you can just you can come and you can be in this building, and it's not pressure. Total $15.5 million and include new engineering, physics, chemistry, and biology labs, along with more space for research. The building is named after Frank Costas, who led the campus for nearly 20 years. If you and your family remember Angela Park, we have a special invitation for you. Lisa Sugart explains. I am very pleased to be joined by one of the owners of SSP TV, Samsung Productions, Ms. Janine Mazurkevich, here to tell us about a huge premiere that we are having. We're so proud of this. This is a great event. So tell everybody what they're invited to. All right. Well, thanks for having me on this side of the microphone. And we are very excited and I'm very proud of our production staff here and our employees because they are to have full credit over the documentary of Angela Park. And, you know, a lot of people might not know, but SSP TV, Samsung Productions, we've been developing uh, documentaries for about a decade now. And the staff came to us, Tim and my brother came to me and said, hey, let's do a documentary on Angela Park. So we have the funding to do it, and they worked on this project for over a year. So it's been a, a time-consuming project, but it is completed. And we are happy to say that we have members from the community, both um, owners of the park, people that worked at the park, and park goers that really put a lot of work into this. They gave us interviews. We have um, 
rare footage that people have never seen. Um, so you're going to see a lot in this documentary, and it's going to bring back a lot of good memories, not only to the people of Greater Hazleton, but throughout you know, Pennsylvania and New York, New Jersey that came in to this park um, from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and uh, the, I believe it closed in, in, the, in the late 80s. So you're going to see rare footage of the park uh, during the premiere that we're having. Now this is a fabulous premiere. It's free, first yeah. of all. We can't stress that enough that it is free, but there is limited seating, so tell them where it's at and when it's at. Okay, so thanks to our sponsors, this is a free event to the public, and we teamed up with the Cinema Draft House, which is located right on Broad Street. We wanted to keep it in uh, the downtown area, so it's uh, in West Hazleton. It really coincides with First Friday, and uh, our event is gonna be on Saturday at the Cinema Draft House, so it'll be a nice event. Doors are going to open again this Saturday at 11:15, so you could come in, you could get the seat that you want. It's nice because you can get a you can get a cocktail if you if you'd like to. You can get some beverages, you can get some food. Um, the the uh, movie will have some opening marks by some dignitaries, and then the movie will start at noon. It goes for about an hour and five minutes, and then we will have the DVDs for sale. Um, Originally, they're $24.99, but for the premiere and for this day only, they're going to be $19.99. So if you're interested in purchase of the DVDs, this is the time to purchase it, especially with Christmas coming up. Mm -hmm. um, you can get a copy of the DVD. It's, it's a really good production, uh, not just because our team did it, but it, it, we've had a lot of people watch it and give us some pointers as it was in the developing stages. And again, this is a project that took over a, a year to produce. So there was a lot of time and energy put into the project. But it's, you're going to love it. It's something that you can sit down with your kids and say, you know, that, you know that piece of property that we pass, and you say, you know, it used to be there. And mom and dad or grandma used to say, I went to that park, and that was the first train I ever rode on, or that was the first swimming pool I was ever at. So they could reminisce, and, you know, it'll be a, it'll be a nice time. So it is limited seating. We do have a Facebook page, Angela Park Movie Premiere Free Event. Um, there's a lot of activity on it, so I just want everyone to know this. We're only showing one viewing of this. Uh, that's going to be free to the public this Saturday, October 7th. Doors open at 11.15. Um, we are giving out a commemorative booklet, which this has been my first print pro project, and uh, one of our interns, our marketing interns, has helped me with it, with Christy. She was here for a few months with us. Mm -hmm. and she helped with that. So we have a commemorative booklet that will be yours. It's free. That is on a limited basis as well. So again, if you're coming, you want to get there early, you want to get your seat, um, and the movie will start, as I said, around noon. Well, we've had tremendous feedback. People mm -hmm. from all over purchasing the DVD. Your brother, uh, Sam LaSanne Jr., had told me that they literally had people from all over the country, people that used to go to the park, have great memories of it. We hope everyone gets together this Saturday to share those memories, to watch it. You feel like you are literally at the old Angela Park, which I remember very dearly. Went there many times during my childhood. So I hope a lot of people will come out and see us. We look forward to seeing you. Again, it's free, but please, First come, first served. We'll see you Saturday. The door is open at 11.15. Thank you, Lisa and Janine. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing you all there. Well, a reminder that our SSP TV programming is available tonight and every Wednesday from 6.30 until 8 p.m. on our High Definition Channel 513. You can also catch a rebroadcast of SSP TV News tonight at 8 p.m. on both channels, Channel 13 and HD 513. Our Janine Mazurkavage is back at Sacco Chiropractic with more tips for good health. Well, have you ever gone to the doctor and he or she has said to you, there's nothing else I can do for you? Well, we're here at Sacco Chiropractic and Dr. Scott Sacco is going to talk about some tough cases and maybe you are one of them. Yeah, so recently I've been having a lot more patients that have been coming in that have sat down with their doctor or they've been through pain management and they've been through different areas and they say, we really can't help you without giving you a needle or surgery. You're kind of a, a lost cause. I get a lot of that that comes in and they don't necessarily come in on their own. It's friends or family that refer them in that keep bugging them, come in, come in, come in. And then they'll finally come in and once they sit down and they talk with me, they realize that we can help them and we can help you. You've never been to a chiropractor or an office like ours. Our office is amazing from the time that you walk in the front door. You're greeted like a VIP. Mm -hmm. 
So a lot of times when we sit down with these patients and we go through and we help them, they realize that consistent chiropractic care and seeing a chiropractor like myself that takes a hands-on approach mm -hmm. and will develop a plan specifically to your needs, mm -hmm. we can help them. Right. And, you know, it's easy to say, take this pill, it's a quick fix. But here, you know, it, sometimes it does take time. you got to trust in your doctor. you got to trust in the process. and you got to trust in chiropractic care. If you haven't given it a try, this is something that is pretty much all natural. Yeah. We say here that we don't treat symptoms. We don't treat pain. We change lives. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. We want to be able to give you your life back. A lot of these patients tell me that, they are now changing their life around their pain. They can't do things that they used to do. They can't go out and garden. They can't play with their kids. They can't do this. Those are the things that we treat, and that's the type of things that we try to give you back. We try to give you your freedom back, freedom from pain. Love it. We're here again changing lives at Sacco Chiropractic. Just checking my rundown. Janine will be back. Stay tuned. Coming up next, a little preview of the entertainment you'll witness at Fall Fest at Eagle Rock Resort over the weekend. Janine will host that segment. Later, I talk with Standard Speaker Sports Editor Dave Seaman about the Yankees, Cubs, Eagles, and more. This is SSP TV News, your place for 24 hours of your hometown news and information. This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Hey guys, we've been telling you about a big event that is open to the public here at Eagle Rock Resort. It's happening this weekend. It's the Big Fall Festival. You are invited and we're with Pam Sando. She is one of the organizers. Pam, there are uh, many people coming. There's a lot of big entertainment coming to Eagle Rock Resort. Yes, there is. First of all, Friday, October 6th. We have Wisecrackers Comedy Club here down at the Base Lodge. Our doors will open at 7.15. The comedy will begin at 8 o'clock. Come prepared for laughter. On Saturday, October 7th, starting at 10 a.m., we have eclectic and energetic Leilani Chislan is playing. Um, she will be followed by top 40s dance music and classic rock band Flaxy Morgan. Everybody's heard of them. And then rounding out the night during our bonfire, we have the area's top country band, Tommy Guns. On Sunday at 10 o'clock, Leilani is coming back to continue with her eclectic entertainment. And we will rounding out Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock with the area's party rock band, Tool Shed Jack. All right, so there's a lot of entertainment. It sounds like there's something for everyone. Definitely. This is definitely a family fun time this weekend at Eagle Rock, and that bonfire is magnificent. Huge. So stand back. Yeah, stand back, and it's something to really come out and see. Again, we're here all week at Eagle Rock Resort talking about the big fall festival. It is open to the public. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Hey, Lion. Here's a look at our local forecast now from the National Weather Service. Tonight, increasing clouds. We will have a low of 57 degrees. Four-day outlook. Thursday looks nice, partly sunny. Highs in the mid-70s. At night, we'll drop down to 53 degrees. On Friday, 40% chance of some showers. 69 is the high, 55 for the low. Saturday, climate cloudy, 73 for the high, 60 for the low. And then on Sunday, we're up to the mid-70s. Again, 40% chance of some showers, 60 for the low at night. And now your midday winning lottery numbers on SSP TV. We'll take a look at that after the segment from the YMCA. Ah, we'll do it now. 13, that's your lucky number for the day. 1, 3, pick 3, 7, 4, 1, pick 4, 5, 8, 1, 0, pick 5, 0, 6, 2, 8, 4, wild number 1. All right, let's go to the Y and then I'll do sports. I'll be quiet now. Hello, I'm Rob Gould. And I'm Frank Romero, the race director for the Hazleton Town and Trail Race Series. Our race will be held October 14th, Saturday at 7 a.m. This is the fourth annual event. This event has something for everybody, distances for everybody. We've got a youth 100-yard dash, which is free. We've got a competitive one-mile timed race, which has youth age groups. And we have a 5K, a 10K, and our area's only 13.1 half marathon, all with five-year adult age groups. All athletes who will be running or walking on, will have a t-shirt and awards will be issued at the end of the race as well. The kids in the one mile, we have age group awards, they're going to be medals. We have finisher medals for all the 13.1 and this year 
for the 5K, 10K, and the 13.1, the Age Group Award, it's going to be a nice custom glass. And for those of you 21 or older, you're going to be able to fill that glass at our beer tent. Again, the race is October 14th at 7 a.m. You can register online at hazyracing.com or you can find us on Facebook. Time now for sports on SSPTV News. It's another Dave Day. A lot to get to with the standard speaker sports editor, Dave Seaman. feel like I say that every week, Dave, but we are in the thick of fall sports season. And Major League Baseball playoffs have started. New York Yankees start spreading the news, Dave. They will take on the Cleveland Indians. There's been a lot of talk about, um, there was a lot of talk about um, the wild card game around here with Ron Marchetti and John Eric Poli being fans. Not too happy with Luis Severino getting the start in game one. Didn't go too well for him, Dave. Um, lasted a third of an inning. Gives up three runs, runs, but the Yankees have that power. They have that bullpen. They move on, and I think they could give the Cleveland Indians some fits. Right, right now, there's no pressure on the Yankees, really. If you're a Yankee fan, this, this is you know this is what you want. You want a chance to play the best team. Uh, the Indians have beaten the Yankees in years past when the, maybe the Yankees were favored. This year, the shoe's on the other fo uh, foot, so to speak, and uh, Yankees can go in that series. And it's only a five-game series too, so the Yankees. Have, win three games, you know, they're, they're moving on to the next round and uh, uh, maybe the, the, this young Yankee team, uh, you know, could capture the hearts of, you know, Yankee fans uh, like previous Yankee teams and uh, do something that uh, New York fans haven't seen in a while and that's uh, advance to the playoffs. And Dave, the Cubs, um, great article in the Standard Speaker today talking about their playoff run coming up. And last year, Dave, it felt inevitable. I mean, really and truly, I think they were the best team in the regular season. I know they had to fight to get that World Series title, but it just felt like it was coming. Joe Madden had a great um, quote in the story. He said, underdogs are overdogs, whatever. The thing that feels different is that we know how to do this. I think Joe invented a new superhero, overdog Dave, but um, it's kind of scary that he might have the formula to how to win in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, he's done it before in Tampa, too, when he wasn't the favorite, too. Nobody would expect them to get to the World Series in 2008 uh, and, and the players that he has now I mean they went through that run last year so they know what the, the experience it's it's a different level of excitement uh, once you get into the playoffs and uh, the Cubs experienced that last year and to, to go all the way and uh, rally in the World Series uh, you know maybe they shouldn't have won the World Series last year but maybe they should have because they made a great comeback against a great Indians team and uh, you know, didn't start that well this year, but uh, once they got it going late in the season, uh, you, you knew they were kind of gearing up for the playoffs. And uh, uh, maybe in Chicago, people are talking about the Cubs, but I, I think nationally, um, they're talking about more about the Dodgers or the Indians, perhaps. And um, this might be the year that uh, the, the Cubs will sneak up. And if they're underdogs, I think Joe kind of relishes that role. And Dave, how about in the NFL? The Philadelphia Eagles have my attention. I'm not a huge NFL guy, but here they sit, um, I believe, 3-1 and one on the air on the top of the NFC East. Kind of did the same thing last year. Can it stick this year? Uh, I, I think so because, again, you go with experience. I mean, you've been through it last year. Uh, last year, their uh, offensive line took, uh, took some hits. Lane Johnson was suspended for 10 games, and that really affected the rest of the offense, in my opinion, uh, what, what they were able to do. Uh, now they have a, you know, a solid uh, emerging quarterback in Carson Wentz. They have three running backs that uh, you know they can mix and match with Clement, uh, Smallwood, and uh, uh, Blunt uh, that, that really could do different things. Uh, the defense is aggressive. It's a it's a you know, a big play defense. Uh, special teams is pretty good. Got a good young kicker who uh, doesn't seem phased by the pressure or whatever. So uh, uh, this could be a year for the Eagles. And Dave, let's finish up locally. Um, we just did a women's sports spectacular kind of on out of left field here on SSP TV. And Dave, what a fall it's been um, for female athletics. Um, you have Marion Volleyball, Hazleton Area High School Tennis, Hazleton Area High School Golf in their first season. The girls team goes undefeated regular season. Marion Volleyball, Tamaqua, Marion, Monoy Area Cross Country, MMI Volleyball. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I did because I added this to the list. Jessica McClellan from um, MMI Golf. She qualified for PIAA Regionals. So good fall for the ladies. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, it just seems like more and more each year that you're, you're, you're writing about or talking about uh, different sports that uh, our female athletes have excelled in. And uh, they really take it upon themselves to you know, work hard at their games. And uh, uh, they all deserve our you know, applause and our cheers. And uh, I, I look forward to covering them over the next couple of weeks because it's going to be an exciting time around here. We just did a story on the Hazleton area tennis team. Um, as did you, big story in the standard speaker. They're a lot of fun, that team. Oh, there's no doubt about it. I, <laughs> I see. I just watched some practice just for a little bit the other day, and uh, well, in advance of doing that story, and it just just smiles all around. You can just tell it's a it's a it's a loose bunch, a close knit bunch, and uh, a lot of good teams have that. You can tell they have chemistry. It's an individual sport. Don't don't get me wrong, but uh, you know when you play doubles, you have to work as a team, and all together you have to 
uh, win your matches for the team to have success. And uh, the, this Lady Cougar team is poised to, uh, you know, already won three straight league championships after being winless the one year. And now they go into the districts as uh, probably the team to beat. And Dave, I was there at a practice too. They were having fun, but when um, Sophia Lowson, um, Lily Nowak, and um, Stephanie Mazurk were um, just playing around, the serves and the hits they were having, I, I, w I had to stand back a little bit. So very talented as well. Read all about local sports in the Standard Speaker with Hazleton Area Sports Hall of Famer Dave Seaman and keep up to date right here too on SSP TV News. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. In today's social report, we have a very special happy birthday that's going out to Tina and Shannon Bush. Lots of love from your family and friends. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News would like to send our sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Elaine A. Latino of Las Vegas, Nevada, who passed away on September 10th. A memorial service will take place on Saturday at 12 noon at the Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home in Hazleton. Friends may call Saturday from 11 a.m. to 12 noon at the funeral home. Margie Lucille Rondosh of Drums. A viewing will be on Thursday from 5 to 6 p.m. at the Turnbach Funeral Home in Hazleton. Lillian Schultz of Sugarloaf Township. Mass is Saturday at 11 a.m. at the St. John Bosco Church in Cunningham. The Butler Chapel of the Crofton Hughes Funeral Home is in charge of the arrangements. John Peter Boyle of North Wells, Pennsylvania. Mass is Tuesday at 10 a.m. at the St. Margaret Mary Church in Cornucopolis, Pennsylvania. Memorial will be on Saturday at 1 p.m. from the Fuller III Funeral Home in New Britain, Pennsylvania. Pauline Ann Brocious, formerly of Ringtown. Burial will be at the Old White Church Cemetery in Ringtown at a time to be announced. The Stopper Brentic Funeral Home in Ringtown is assisting the family with local arrangements. Richard A. Donald of Beaver Meadows. Funeral is Friday at 11 a.m. at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Beaver Meadows. Friends may call Thursday from 6 to 9 p.m. and Friday from 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. at the Damiano Funeral Home. Joan Hawk of Barnesville. Funeral is tonight at 9 p.m. at the Lamar Christ Funeral Home in Hometown. Friends may call today from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Funeral Home. Jean Marie Riley of West Hazleton. Mass is Saturday at 11 a.m. at St. Joseph Roman Catholic Church in Danville. Ruth Ann Tezecker of Weatherly. Funeral is Friday at 2 p.m. at the Philip J. Jeffries Funeral Home. Friends may call Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. and Friday from 1 to 2 p.m. at the Funeral Home. And John Alphonse Walk of Chesapeake Beach, Maryland. Mass is Monday at 11 a.m. at St. Anthony's Catholic Church in Chesapeake Beach, Maryland. Attention pay-per-view subscribers, if you see your name now on SSP TV News, you'll have 13 minutes to call in and win a free movie from Service Electric Cablevision. Today's winner is Jane's Cape of Mahanoy City. Call now at 570-455-7267, extension 104, for your free movie. You know, one of my favorite college memories was watching Citizen Kane for a class in the basement of the Costas building. Nice to see it's all ready for another generation at Penn State Hazleton. We'll be ready for another newscast tomorrow. I'll try not to screw up the lottery, my bad. Um, I'll see you then. We have MMI Volleyball in sports. Girls Volleyball as they go after a District 2 championship. All right, have a good night. Take it easy, everyone. Watch us online anytime at ssptv.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.